So we're going to do things a little differently today and start with the Mental Health Minute. And this is brought to you by Gonky. Yeah. So like Mover alluded to, it's not that, well, we were arguing on whether it be the last show or not, but basically I was presented with a pretty amazing opportunity and I ended up uh, not taking it. Um, it was an opportunity to get back into, you know, point nose jets, basically super hornets and, uh, and do some amazing flying stuff that I, I love doing. And of course, mover, uh, and even Doug here, uh, were helping me out through the whole process of trying to figure it out. So it kind of ties right into the mental health minute of priorities. So, you know, as a, as a fighter pilot mover can attest to this, but priorities are pretty important. Um, you know, who are you going to target, right? If you're doing a self escort strike, you got bombs and missiles, like what's the priority, the, you know, the air picture or the, the ground target. Um, but you know, in life too, like I'm a small business owner, right? So you got to prioritize things that you're doing in your business with your time, right? You got to prioritize your time because you can be busy, but not, uh, busy on the things you need to be busy on. So if you don't prioritize correctly, you won't, you won't be in business very long is basically the, the gist of it with, uh, priorities in business. Um, and then on a personal level, uh, when you're single, priorities are pretty easy. You consult yourself, figure out what's best for you and you go. Um, when you get married, it's a little bit more dynamic because, you know, you have your husband or wife. And then when you have kids, it's even, <clears throat> you know, it, it, uh, muddies the picture even more. So basically, uh, this opportunity I was presented with, I totally wanted to do it. Um, you know, Gonky, the fighter pilot was, you know, all for it, but, uh, you know, it, it, it was hard for me, uh, to come to terms with the fact that it's not all about me anymore. I mean, you guys, all these pictures, you know, the, I love me wall behind me, even this show, right. We get to talk mover and I, uh, get to talk about, uh, you know, flying fighters and stuff. We kind of relive the old days, which is fun, and I miss it. Um, but at the end of the day, the opportunity, the job was fantastic. The money was crazy. I'd never made that much money in my life. Um, but the uh, where it was at with my wife, you know, we're in a good church here. She's got good friends. My kids are very young. They've got we have no family down here, right? So our friends and the basically the church is like our family down here when it comes to helping with with uh, you know, family matters. And at the end of the day, I put the decision in my wife's hands because I told her, I said, I'm going to do it. And, uh, so, you know, I put the family's priorities first and she really couldn't give me a straight answer. And to me, that was an answer. So it was hard. Uh, I told mover, I'm going to need therapy. Probably still will. <laughs> I've talked to him about it. Uh, a bunch this week, you know, the I'm 45 and an opportunity to go fly the latest and greatest super Hornets, probably not going to come back or any pointy nose airplane for that matter. But you know, it's okay. I sleep like a baby. And you know, as you get older, you just have to prioritize because it's not always all about you. Uh, especially when other people are riding on the, this, the decisions you're going to make. Um, that was a little bit of a, <laughs> self-centered view on uh, priorities, but I don't know, Mover. What do you got? I want to do the standard gonky. I don't have much oh, to add. You kind of covered it. But uh, I, I always add something. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't okay. cop out like that. I, 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 all right. So I'll do it a little differently. Instead of something pre-planned, I'm going to, there's an aside to this. So I applied, same thing, and didn't even get called. So the fact that they called you is a credit to the relationships you've made, the experience that you have, and your abilities as a fighter pilot that'll never go away no matter what you choose, no matter what you do. And you've told me this many times, that once you're a fighter pilot, you're always a fighter pilot. Yep. It doesn't matter if you're current or not. So, and uh, Jerry Vink said the same thing a couple of weeks ago. So that's one thing for sure. The second part, um, you know, you and I, I was part of this process as much as it pained me because, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm sitting there wanting to see what you're going to do while, you know, I, I really wanted that job too. And it would have been cool to, you know, for both of us to go fly. So it was a little bit of envy, but also, you know, just being a supportive friend, which is a whole different mental health minute by itself. But from the prioritization thing, when you made your decision, 
I agree with you. You know, your, your, your reasons are valid and you're absolutely right about prioritizing thing and things. And, you know, when we talk about the mental health minute, I like to relate it to flying. When we go air to air, we give our wingmen priorities. We say, here's what you're targeting. Here's your sort within that targeting responsibility. Here are your priorities. And even from a bigger picture, we change those priorities based on how far the threat is, how far we are from whatever we're defending, how far we are from a target if we're dropping a bomb, you know, whether we transition air to air, air to ground. We're always changing our priorities based off of the current situation. And that's exactly what you did in this situation was your priorities as a 25-year-old would have been, you know, <laughs> you'd, have got, you'd have had me pulling you over on <laughs> I-12 Yep. for excessive speed to get yep. here. But as a man with a family that had very valid reasons to do what you did, a, a good life that you set up for your family that you didn't want to have to uproot, I think that that priority matrix changes. And really, it's probably one of the hardest things to be selfless and go, what's better for the, the group? And it's the same thing in, in aviation. You know, when we're flying, what's what's better for the mission objectives. What will accomplish the mission objectives for our four ship, for our two ship, for the flight? When you're a flight lead, you have more than just you as a responsibility. And that's part of the progression of becoming an aviator, or becoming a fighter pilot is you start out and you're really just responsible for yourself. You're a wingman. You're going out to Joker Bingo lead. You're on fire. You, you know, I'll take the fat one. And you're out slinging missiles and doing, doing what you have to do because that's what, because you told me to drill sergeant. Right. And then you, they, you level up a little bit, you become an element lead, two ship flight lead, and then four ship flight lead, mission commander, where you're, you're dealing with the entire package, so to speak. And then you become an instructor and you're instructing those things. And throughout that transition, you realize that your priorities change. You know, I'm not just worried about me and my flight lead. Now I'm worried about everybody that I'm, I'm responsible for keeping alive. And that's exactly what you've done. You've, you've done a real world example of how to prioritize things. And in general, you know, for the mental health side of things, I think the, the, the point is to understand what your own priorities are, which means you have to have a strong core. You have to have a, a, a strong moral fiber. You have to have a spine. You have to be somebody, a man of integrity, which I know, Gonky, I'm not going to get sappy, but you've always been, dude. You've always had you know, this core belief system. And that is what has guided you left, right, wherever you need to go. And you know that whatever decision you make, it's going to work out. And so when you have that core belief system, when you have that integrity, you can make these tough decisions and you can prioritize because all you're doing is prioritizing based off of that. Same thing when we fly the commander's intent. What, what's the commander's intent? How do I prioritize so that we accomplish our mission objectives, our tactical objectives and whatever? And so I think it all wraps up into one big piece of mental health because you have to live with those decisions and you have to be able to sleep like a baby when you make those big decisions. So I, I give you credit for doing that. It's a tough thing to do. Um, you're a stronger man than I. <laughs> There's the knife hand somebody just said. Um, and, and I'll do my standard pitch. You know, if, if you're struggling with, with priorities, you're struggling with something mental health, you don't know what's going on, talk to somebody. You know, Gonky didn't do this in a vacuum. I think you maybe blew up. If, dude, if this were oh, yeah. 10 years ago, you'd have mm -hmm. run out of minutes, even on I, nights yeah. and weekends. Your Nokia would not have worked because no. you called so many people <laughs> trying to get advice. So, yeah, that's true. Uh, and, that, and that is, we go back, I say this every time, you have to be able to rely on your friends, family, coworkers, whatever. And if you can't, call somebody. You know, yeah. get, get professional help, get, even if you can get professional help, get an outsider's opinion and don't, don't go this alone. Uh, Doug, what do you got for this? Those hard choices are hard. I mean, they call, they call them that for a reason. <laughs> so and, um, I think that, that something that the, the three of us talked about that kind of was something I, that I came out of it with is it's not always about the money. It's not always about the what I mean, whatever, whatever big shiny piece of it, it there is, whether it's the money or the, the, the fame, if that's in play or the excitement, um, there's a lot more to real life decisions than that. And I've, I've been there too. And, um, I hope I made the right calls. My family thinks I did. 
That's all that matters. <clears throat> Somebody in the chat said Cougar also made a choice. His wife and kids series <laughs> almost orphaned yeah. the day never to see him. <laughs> yeah. I didn't have those when I was yeah. in my glory days. <laughs> um yeah, man. I don't know. You got anything else for for this? Uh, no, Mover. Uh, you know, I talked to Doug about it. Mover. I, I, uh, you definitely. If you're, I find a lot of times if you're spinning your wheels uh, in whatever you're doing in life, it's a lot of times because you don't have your priorities right, <clears throat> and that's a good chance to reach out to people that you uh, trust. And I even, I even wanted to hear people's opinion who were biased, because they might tell me something I wasn't thinking about. Right. So, yeah. reach out. Like Mover said, don't. You know, I, I'm a firm believer in basically any kind of mental health issue. You want to reach out and get some level of uh, of help. Yeah. Don't just don't just weather the storm yourself. Don't eat the shrooms. We'll get to that in a second. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm going to go back to what Donkey just said there. That you know, even if you know somebody who's absolutely opposed to what you're talking about or what you're thinking about or has a really clear set, you know, really clear set against what you think is the right answer, it's still good to talk to them because. There might be something you didn't pick up. Yep. Some of the best leaders in history had close people that they disagreed with all the time. You know, yeah. The emperor is not wearing clothes. Like <clears throat> you. you want somebody that will tell you, it's, sometimes they're just going to give you a wake-up call. Sometimes they'll just say that one thing, hey, are you doing this for you or for somebody else? Yep, 100%, man. Um, speaking of which, there will be no show next week because Gonky's midlife crisis continues. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not having a midlife crisis, man. Where's this? You're the one with the Corvette. And the, I've had a and helicopters. And 20, and the, 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 uh, How many pairs of New Balances do you own? Yeah, just the one. Uh, <laughs> no, seriously though, Gonky, um, where can people watch you this 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 coming weekend? Oh no, is, there's is nothing this televised. No, no, I'm I'm going to do it. I'm going I'm going to California to do a motorcycle race. I like racing dirt bikes, but it's just for fun. So, mm -hmm. how's that? Tell? Sorry, it hurts. <laughs> Still, it's healing, but it hurts. John says, "Quote: Our life is the sum total of all the decisions we make every day, and those decisions are determined by our priorities." Miles yeah. Monroe. Thank you, yeah. John. That's uh, that's good. Uh, D Stew, thank you. Says uh, Gonky. Dude, you just solidified my respect for you. God bless you, man, for prioritizing your family. Pointy Jet, man, you're a one of a kind. Bless you, man. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, Aaron, thank you, Aaron, says, sounds like you wanted Viper. <laughs> just stayed with your wingman instead. Wingman. Wingman. You got it. If you're saying Top Gun, it's wingman. Good on you, Gonky. That's right. Not leaving my wingman. <laughs> yeah, my wingman. Thanks, man. man. Uh, and then uh, Sean says, for a new pack of cruise socks for Gonky's new chapter. <laughs> oh, I love it. I Thanks, Sean. You would have needed the cruise sock had you done this. Not, uh, not, yeah. Yes. It, it might have trended that direction Correct. had you done this. And uh, Zippers Forever says, Rinka says priorities are ball. Ball is life. That is valid. But even dogs prioritize. That's you know? right. Of course they do. You know, the hierarchy of needs and stuff like that. And uh, Aaron says, I left spray flying for the same reasons, family number one. Yep. And you'll see that a lot. I mean, Yonky, we've talked about when to walk away. Oh, yeah. And sometimes you just have to decide where are my priorities right now? You know, when you're in your 20s, priorities are, are just whatever. You go rage. Yep. But as you grow older, they change. And there's nothing wrong with that. Betty says ten dollars. Thank you. Thanks, Betty. And then two dollars. Betty, if you had a question, please yeah, repost it. it because uh we didn't see it there. And Matt says, in these uncertain times, family stability and security is probably the first choice over pursuing a cool job opportunity. Much respect for your decision. Thanks, Matt. We'll remember that when we start the GoFundMe next year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> oh my god, what are we doing? Yeah. Uh anyway. Uh, yeah. And then Robert says, going to have to drop out for the wife's chili. We'll have to catch up after you're done. Good luck with your decision, best witches. Thank nice, you, Robert. Robert. Was that a 300? He might be racing you next week. Uh, he's he's uh, He's got the the enduro tank on there. Nice bike, though. Thanks, Robert. Okay. All right. 
Uh, in life, Gonky is Maverick. <laughs> no, Gonky's got a family and does not live in I used to be. I used to be, man. Yeah. Now, now actually, I'm just... Yeah. He's not likely to be Thanks, living dude. in an Airstream with his P-51. Be kind of cool for a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Till- <laughs> 